today's video where I will be covering what is a D chord or mega chord roll. So um, we're obviously working on the bigger types of chord rolls, so below I'll put a link for the D chords and how to do a D chord roll, and then what is a mega chord roll, if that helps. And then, so today we are working on the D one, so it'll involve major and minor, and your limits are going to be the D, let's say from the next to middle C, you know, one D up and then two D's down. So down here and then two octaves higher than middle C plus one. Okay, so that's your limit and I'll play it slowly, okay, and I'll start with the white chord. So the white chord, you know, happens to be D minor um, and I do that because it's easier, you know, right away you just go to the whites and then when you go to the second chord, you add one black, or you, you know, you change one note. Okay, so let's start. So you're gonna start on D, cross, and cross over to D, and back down. Look for your A, right? And then from D minor to ma D major, all you're doing is changing one note. The third, the middle one goes up to F sharp. So you know you're looking for D, right? And you're going to have to look for it several times. Once, twice, and a third time. Now on the way down, if you've seen the other videos, I always explain that it's important to look for the fifth of the chord. So the fifth of the chord in a D chord, D major or D minor, is A, D, F, A, or D, F sharp, A. It's that top one. So on the way down, you look for that top note. Because sometimes when you're going back down, you're thinking, oh, I'm doing a D chord, and we'll look for D. But let me just show you what happens if you do that. Okay. I'm doing a D chord, let me look for a D. Ah, that's not an A chord at, or a D chord at all. Okay, so once you up, once you cross over and you go back down, you look for your A. And if you do that three times, A, A, right? So I'll do it again, both major and minor, and I'm going to like scream A so you know you have to look for that A going up. And on the way up, you look for D. Okay. two or three and on the way down your right hand's already there you don't even have to look for that one look for a look for a look for a and same thing for d major d, d, d. cross over to d look for a a a there we go so i'll play them both really fast back to back um and my, one of my other tips is to go really fast and not lose any time. Don't repeat the bottom note. So you'll go woo for D minor and then woo again for D major. So it'll look like this. So that is D mega chord rules. So let's go see where we are in the book, which is chords one, triads. And we have moved on to mega chordals, and we are working on our little green C urchin boop, all the way over here. And so the top one is D major, which is the second roll I usually do, and then D minor, the white one, is the bottom one. But if you can do both, you get to color both those little guys. And uh, that's it for D mega chordals, yay!